My friends and some of my enemies call me the fox. Now that we uh, know each other, Mr. Watley, permit me to... Have you met my partner? Why, no, I haven't. Brain Trust, shake hands with Mr. Delgado. Oh, it's a pleasure. Now, Mr. Delgado, what can I do for you? I have selected you to perform for me a, a most important service. Such as? Last night I committed an impulsive act. Most impulsive. I killed a man. You don't say. Must have been quite a sensation. I killed him and I'd do it again if I had to. You hear that brain trust? He killed a man just like that. And no regrets. Two times. Two times I warned him to stay away from Margot, my wife. He wouldn't. So I shot him. It's simple, no? You make it sound reasonable. Who was the lucky lover? That pig named Conroy. Lucky Conroy, eh? I'm on my way to the police now. Giving yourself up? Yes, but it's not serious. When I tell a man in charge of the justice why I killed Conroy, he'll let me go. Yeah, judges are funny like that. Why'd you come to me? To hold for me this key. And uh, here's $500 for your services. What's the catch? There's no catch. Just hold the key. You keep it for me until I'm set free. Then I come to you and you give it back to me. Did it ever occur to you that uh, you might not be set free? If uh, by some silly mistake such as the case, then uh, you take the key and give it to my lawyer. Just as a matter of personal curiosity, why don't you give it to your lawyer yourself? Because I don't know who this lawyer will be. And don't ask questions. Then we have made, uh, shall we say it, a deal? Yes, I shall say it. We have made a deal. Good. Now I will go and surrender. On your own steam? Never go to the police. What do we pay taxes for? Let them come to you. Here, have a donut. Huh, thank you. Unless I miss my guess, Mr. Delgado, I'll get you a free ride downtown. I tell you, Lieutenant, I don't know anything about it. But you were Conroy's partner. You did own a stable of horses with him. And there was bad blood between you. Well, everybody has misunderstandings. Yes, I suppose so. Hello. Oh, hello, Mike. Artie! Quick! This is a matter of life and death. If anything happens, I want you to take care of... No! No! You won't get by with it. Mike! Hello! Hello, Mike! Send my car out front right away. Thanks for coming down, Johnny. Don't leave town. I might want you. Here's a cup of coffee, Mr. Delgado. Oh, thanks very much. Say, that's a very good picture of you, Mr. Watling. Oh, that's not me. That's a picture of John Calvert. John Calvert? You mean uh, the great magician? Oh, he's not so hot. This is a picture of me here. Hey, he looks exactly like you, Mr. Watling. I don't think so. Hey, you must be a magician, too, with all the funny-looking things around here. Oh, I do a few tricks. We have plenty of time before Hardy gets here. If you like, I'll show you a few. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Remember, the closer you watch, always the less you see. Now watch very closely. Oh, there we are. And presto changeo, and we have a bowl of goldfish. What do you know? Huh? Oh, that's good. Say, what's the tub for? Well, you come right over here and I'll show you. Now you just hold this right here. You'll be my assistant. And here we have an empty tub. Nothing. There you are. And lo and behold, we have Oscar. Take it easy, boy. Take it easy.
happens to the duck. Oh, he knows his way around. <laughs> That's a good trick, Mr. Watling. And you're a good assistant, Mr. Delgado. <laughs> Come right over here and I'll show you another one. Here, hold this bowl, will you? 